This morning, Fayette County's new elementary school, Brenda Cowan Elementary, opened its doors to teachers for the first time. With Wednesday of next week being the first day of school and the to-do list running long, today teachers had a few extra hands from some young volunteers. Claire Kopsky was there as those very first boxes were getting unpacked. We couldn't do our job without our community, and we're blessed to have them. This morning, local soccer players did some of the heavy lifting as teachers came into Brenda Cowan Elementary for the first time. We will be ready day one to take kids. Although construction is still in progress in a few parts of the building, the principal says the necessary classrooms are ready to go. This building was built for 750. Um, we're going to start with roughly 500 kids, and so we're going to put our kids all in the intermediate hallway and then um, they're going to finish um, the primary wing. A few highlights of the new building include mobile colorful furniture, a dry erase horseshoe table in every classroom, as well as booth and restaurant style lunchroom tables. Because this is a brand new school, students are coming in from all over town. Our students come from ACE, from Garrett Morgan, we have some from Liberty, some from Squires, and Julius Marks. Principal Williams says it's his goal to create a culture of community so every student, parent, and teacher feels a part of this new, vibrant community, which he says was inspired by Brenda Cowan herself. Brenda Cowan really cared about uh, students. Um, she really cared about community. Um, she was very positive. She always smiled. One of the unique quotes that I heard from, uh, from Brenda Cowan was, I'm just uh, a ordinary person doing an extraordinary job. A quote he says his staff will embody when they open their doors on Wednesday. In Lexington, Claire Kopsky, LEX 18 News. A few other spaces the school is excited to debut are computer and piano labs, a dance studio, as well as their creative writing, media, and other arts programs.